Jason Kainui fighting out of Universal, Valet Tudor, Canterbury Fight Centre, cornered again by Carl Weber, Coach Hostile. And we'll be looking forward to this fight, seeing what he brings to the table. Very well-rounded fighters coming from Universal, Valet Tudor. Dan, we saw in that last fight with Chain. Did you see how fast he latched onto that arm and guillotine to put um, to tap Ryan? Yeah, I was surprised about that. He caught him in the scramble. I know arm and guillotine can be quite difficult to finish. Uh, also very hard to escape. Obviously comes from very good gym though. Yeah, definitely. They both look like specimens. 100%. I was very surprised in that scramble just how quickly he latched onto it and how deep it got. Yeah, and Ryan is a strong lad himself. He is. Uh, very good grappler himself as well, so you know that's tight. His opponent this evening, introducing to the cage, give it up for Gary McDonald. So Gary McDonald coming out now. He's facing Jason Kainui. So Gary McDonald actually fought on our last show, Dan. Um, he fought in the tournament, losing in the final to Russell. So he showed uh, he won two fights that night. Um, showed some very good skills. IMA Sta black belt. Yeah, IMA black belt. So he's got the Taekwondo skills. And he's been working his ground game as well at core. Very dedicated. Very yeah. dedicated to the fight. Very focused. Um, yeah, on that note, I come in. When I come in, almost every single time, this includes Saturdays and Sundays, almost every single time I come in, Gary strolls past. And I'm like, Gary, what are you doing here? Do you live here? Gary's a workhorse. Gary trains day in, day out. He's committed. He's He's got the desire. It really shows. He should feel confident in that as well, knowing that he's done the hard work. Absolutely should. Yeah, so he's got a Taekwondo back, um, background, his black belt, and... Um, but, I mean, at the same time, he's shown some really good ground skills in recent times as well. He's fighting against um, Jason Kainui, who is 35 years old. He had a few boxing fights over a decade ago, so he's got some hands. Um, training at Universal Valley Tudo with uh, Carl Weber. So he's got, so what we know is he's got some good hands. He's got some history with boxing. And his favorite fighters, John Jones, Anderson Silva, Fedor, Chuck Liddell, Mark Hunt, Strikers. Very long fighters, and he's long himself. You can see he probably is going to emulate some of his heroes there. Yep, like Sugar Ray Leonard, David Tour, Muhammad Ali. He's probably going to bring, I'm expecting to bring some nice crisp hands tonight, Dan, Jason Kainui. But he'll have his hands full with All right, more MMA. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is with three times three-minute rounds of MMA action. So we have Gary McDonald and Jason Kainui. Jason Kainui fighting out of the blue corner with the black and yellow, and Gary McDonald with the black trunks. Both men looking very focused. They are. Itadona Tuatahi, round one. And they touch gloves. Both men fighting out of the orthodox stance. Yep. Just filling themselves out now. Nice and relaxed. Nice, quick punches. And oh, big takedown take from down. Gary. Good He's defense from Jason. Really looking to nullify that boxing. Yes. I don't think he liked that. So he's trying the ground game. He's working. Gary's looking to take the back here. Very, very nice. He's got the body lock. Bit hasty. He keeps double underhooks though. Over under position. 
Gary looks like he really wants to take this fight to the ground. Um, Jason Klein always doing a great job, Dan, of keeping him, keeping it standing. Yeah, that was very good. He he had Gary on his back and managed to shug him off relatively easily. Gary's got a bit of a Gary has a yes, he has fight. a mouse. Great defense again for the from the takedown from Jason. So he's got one underhook here, holding him against the cage. Heavy on his overhook side. Nice knees being. Big knee to the body, and I don't think Gary liked that one at all. Gary needs to use his uh, right hand underhook there to circle out. Good knee again. Holding him against the fence here, making Gary work. Yes, halfway through this round now. Bit of a grappling affair, Dan. Yeah, this is tough work. This could go either way here. Gary has an underhook. His head is very low, though. He needs to wedge it there into his go. neck. Yeah, that's better. See, uh, Jason working for good wrist control there. Even though Gary had the dominant uh, underhook position, yes. his hands were tied up and he wasn't able to capitalize. It's good to see Gary throwing those kicks out. I'd like to see him utilize a few more kicks. He has got a reach disadvantage, so using his kicks might be a bit better. Ooh. Oh, big punches from Jason. Shot to the body there. He's definitely showing his boxing skills. Gary keeping his hands nice and close. What I like to see. Looking to get those underhooks. Gary's still very much in this. Gary's hands quite low. He's coming forward now. Going to the Big body. punches again. Gary going for the takedown, Gary but just needs cannot. To be up on his feet here to finish his takedowns. Yeah, he just. Oh, good switch there, but still. Good attempt here. Playing so, from the closed guard position, double underhooks. I'm hugely impressed by um, Jason's takedown defense. That's a hard throw to finish, and uh, he really committed to it too, so. Hey, he's about 0-5 or 6 on takedown, so that's very impressive. Time, end of round one. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what... Um, Gary's coaches tell him in this corner he's got Mike Galt working with him there and Frank Jarrett. The there as well. He really needs to, to change things up a little bit, maybe set up those shots a bit better with some strikes, get Jason thinking up high a little bit more. Um, very close to finishing. Yes, that was. It's it's been very hard for him to get to that get that takedown. see Chain there in this corner as well. Chain who came up with a great um, submission victory. Seconds out. And Coach Hostile giving him some strong words. Mitirona Tuarua, round two. Three by three minute rounds. Gary McDonald and Jason Kainui. Gary McDonald, Hamilton, local boy, and Round Jason two. Kainui. Jason Kainui from Christchurch. Nice head kick there from Gary. Gary looking to establish a kick a bit more. Maybe that's one of the adjustments made in the corner there. Good leg kicks. There we go. Nice. That's a bit better from Gary. Oh, those big, big uppercuts shot. to the body. It was so big. He hits very hard. Gary working that over under position. Bit of a neutral position. Both men having one underhook. Gary now taking the dominant position like against to see, the cage. Yeah, I'd like to see some knees to the thigh here. Good, there we go. Jason got double unders now. He's going to look to turn him. And he turns him. And he's delivering his own knees. See Jason uh, smothering in the hips here, really smothering the knee attempt of Gary. Nice turn there by Gary, he's out. Look to establish his kick again. Spinning back kick from Gary, showing a bit of his taekwondo skills. Good leg kicks. I really want him to keep going with these leg kicks there. They are 
Oh, very nice. Mike Galt being very vocal. Oh, big left hook from Gary. Again, holding him against the cage. Bit of blood on the back there. Is Much closer Jason? round this time. Good knee. It could be from Jason. Uh, definitely a close around this time. Uh, I'd have it very even actually going into the final minute, Dan. I agree. This could be any man's fight at this stage. We have Mike Galt in the corner. Very nice Gary. from Gary, but good scramble again from Jason. Good Man, punches. Good shots. He's on a guillotine. He's let it go. Gary's corner calling for knees furiously. Mike Galt is absolutely going off on the corner here. One minute left. Gary looks like he's controlling this, but Jason's holding him against the cage now. Good shot there through the cage. And Gary takes the center of the cage again. Big cut under the uh, left eye. Yes, I think that was from a left hook from Gary, Dan. Mm. I couldn't tell if he was rocked because he's dropping leg. for the takedown. Got the single. Keeps it. He's on top. It looks like he may... He's on top, Gary's on top here, Looking and... From the half butterfly guard. Jason Gary. Very tired. Yes. Gary. Good press taken here. Gary has done well in this round to come back after a, a, quite a hard round in the first round, Dan. And yeah. he looks like he's actually pulled this one out of the bag. That might be one round apiece now. I think they're going to be going to the third round. In um, the round two. One round each. Fight. Yes. It's going to come down to the last round. Gary helping him up there. Good sportsmanship um, from Gary, and um, he's done. He's really impressed me coming into this round. That was a big left hook there from Gary. Um, yes, he did real well. Real well to come back from that first round. And it's going to come down to this last round, Dan. Um, both fighters, a little bit weathered, a little bit tired. Uh, it's going to come down to who wants it more. This is all going to be hard from now on. This is all hard. Both men fatigued. Who wants it more? He's talking with Frank Jarrett, giving him some advice there. He's got Mike Gold as well. And Carlo Meister on the outside of the cage too. Head coach at Core MMA. Head coach, owner-operator, mastermind behind uh, Core MMA. And this event, really. And an all-round um, full-force fight call. Uh, full-force fight call. Yeah, all-round GC. I mean, I couldn't put it, couldn't put it better. Down. Shout out to Carlo Meister. Iterona to a Toru round number three, about to begin. Third of our three minute rounds. Um, All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the third and final round for this bout of the evening. Please make some noise for these two MMA warriors. Big smiles from Jason. Two great competitors here. Yeah, Jason smiling, loves it. Gary. Just having fun out there. Yep. Round three. Two great competitors. See if Gary looks to establish his kicker game. Good leg kick again. Yeah, I really like it. Throwing this leg kick. Good head kick. Follows up with the left hook. Mike Galt calling for more kicks. Those kicks really changed the game uh, going from into the second round. Coming from a very strong Taekwondo background. Yes. This is a boxing background there. It's no surprise he's really looking to throw those kicks. Some strong words from both corners now. Mike Galt and um, Coach Carl Weber screaming across the cage at their fighters. It's a big battle here. This is the closest fight of the night, Dan, um, in my opinion. Um, both fighters really needing this last round to take the fight. Very evenly matched fight. Great fight. Excellent nice. trip takedown, but he's been reversed. Great reversal at the end of that takedown from Jason, and he finds himself on top in half guard. Very nice outside trip. Jason kept the underhook there, which led him to be on top. Excellent Gary work. stripping out there, establishing the closed guard. He really wants to get back to his feet here and use his kick. Definitely doesn't want to finish this round on bottom. No, he doesn't. There's about half the round remaining. Gary really has to move if he wants any chance of taking this round and this fight. I agree. Looking for a triangle here. He's got one arm in, one arm out. Now we're looking at, oh, he's looking for an arm bar. He's on it. He's being lifted. Big slam. Gets him out of danger there from Jason. Very slippery. Usually slamming in the triangle isn't the best strategy. Very slippery though. Managed to slip out. 
A lot of blood still coming out of Jason. Gary keeping those double underhooks, really breaking down the posture, making it hard for Jason to do any Hopefully, real damage here. Yeah, we could see a stand up here if there's not enough um, activity. Looking for the triangle once again. You see uh, Gary working from that single collar tie and really controlling the left wrist of Jason. Last time setting it up, same setup, but on the other wrist. I think he should abandon this attempt and try to stand up. He's only got 40 seconds left. We need to see him really do some work here. Carl Weber wanting his fighter to posture up and throw some more blows. He's on top. He's not really doing a lot of damage here. Gary really throwing up a lot of submission attempts. I'd like to see Gary try to stand up here. Yeah, there's not much time left, and it looks like Jason could be. <laughs> looks like Jason could be um, coming away with the third round and possibly the fight. Time! Very tough fight. No, just a shout out to Andy Kowalski. I'm actually the Joe Rogan of this um, of this um, Since fight show at the moment. It an, it's not uh, Dan Vandenberg, it's actually me. We have Clark Jarrett playing the local Mike Goldberg. Uh, Clark Jarrett here, live at B-Town 3. Uh, the Joe Rogan of the event. And Dan Vandenberg is actually my Mike Goldberg. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the scorecards are in. The judges scored this about a unanimous shout decision. Winner, fighting shout out of the blue Kowalski corner, Jason... Poland. Kainui. Big congratulations to John, uh, to uh, Jason Kainui. Bring it Big up, Jason. Congratulations on the decision. win tonight. Is there anything, anyone you'd like to thank? Yeah. Um, first of all, I just want to make a, say thank you to God for giving me the strength to be here, giving me the strength to get through the fight. Second of all, I want to make a shout out to my coach, Carl Weber, aka. Coach Hostile, love you coach, thank you for everything. Thirdly, I want to make a shout out to my daughter Jada Storm, love you bubs. Fourth, shout out to all my boys at CFC, C City, what up boys? This is to you. Also, my brother Zach Henry passed away. He passed away a few weeks ago. My brother, Bla my brother Zach Henry, rest in peace brother, this is for you G. Love you bro. Well said, ladies and gentlemen, your winner. Jason Kainui.